Hi friends and welcome to Bedtime Stories with Miss Anne. If you guys listen really carefully, there's a little bit of a thunderstorm going on above us, but we'll do our best to stay nice and cozy and have some fun tonight. Okay, if you have been with me at one of my life story times, I like to sing a song to get the wiggles out of us. So our song tonight is If You Are Happy and You Know It. There is four parts of the song, friends. First, we clap our hands, then we stomp our feet, then we shout hooray, and then we do all three together. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! Great job, friends. Great job. Okay, guys. Since the start of quarantine, I have been doing story time from my home. I'm sure you guys have noticed. This is my den. And... I have a special guest. Oh no, she ran away! Special guest! Come back here, special guest! Here's my special guest. Hi! My friends, this is my kitty cat. Her name is Molly. Have you guys seen her in story time sometimes? Sometimes she's sitting up on the couch, lying down. Today, she's kind of scared with a thunderstorm. Should we try to make her feel better? Oh, come here, Molly. Mm. Say hello to all of Mama's friends. No? You want to go bye-bye? Okay, friends, she's going to say goodnight. All right, you don't want to stick around for story time? No? Okay. Bye, Molly. Thank you for coming to story time. Okay, guys. Since Miss Molly was our special guest, and tonight is my last story time from home. I thought I would share a special cat themed stories. Are you guys ready? Our first book tonight is They All Saw a Cat by Brendan Wenzel. They All Saw a Cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the child saw a cat. And the dog saw a cat. And the fox saw a cat. Yes, they all saw the cat. The cat walked through the world with his whiskers, ears, and paws. And the fish saw a cat. And the mouse saw a cat. And the 
be saw a cat. Yes, they all saw the cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the bird saw a cat. And the flea saw a cat. And the snake saw a cat. And the skunk saw a cat. And the worm saw a cat. And the bat saw a cat. Yes, they all saw the cat. Yes, they all saw a cat. A child and a dog and a fox and a fish and a mouse and a bee, and a bird, and a flea, and a snake, and a skunk, and a worm, and a bat. The cat knew them all, and they all knew the cat. And the cat walked through the world with his whiskers, ears, and paws. Then it came to the water. And imagine what it saw. And that is They All Saw a Cat by Brendan Wenzel. Okay, friends, our next story is I Am a Cat by Galia Bernstein. I am a cat by Galia Bernstein. Hello, my name is Simon. I am a cat, just like you. Be silly, dear boy. You can't be a cat because I am a cat and you are nothing like me at all. Cats have a mane and a tuff at the end of their tails, and when they roar, everybody trembles, for they are the king of all beasts. A cat, said Cheetah, but you are so short and chubby. Cats are tall and graceful creatures who run faster than all the animals in the world. You don't look you don't look like you can run very fast at all. A cat said Puma, that's ridiculous. Cats live in the mountains. That's why people call us mountain lions. They leap far, jump high, and act tough. I know fuzzy little rabbits that look tougher than you. A cat? Cats are black, said Panther. They live in jungles and rainforests and sleep in trees. Have you ever seen a jungle? A cat, said Tiger. That's very funny. You see, cats are very big and very strong and very, very orange. You are small and gray. You might be some kind of a rat, but a cat? I don't think so. Simon was confused. Lion is the only one with a mane, he said. No one else is black like panther or orange like tiger. No one else can jump as high as Puma 
or can run as fast as cheetah. So how can you all be cats? Because we also have many things in common, said Lion. We all have small perky ears and flat noses. Long whiskers and long tails. We have sharp teeth and claws. And big eyes that can see in the dark. So do I, said Simon. I have all of those things, only smaller. They all leaned in for a closer look. Ah, said Lion. Oh, said Puma. Hmm. In that case, said Panther. Er. It's very possible that, said Tiger. You're a cat, said Cheetah. So am I part of the family, asked Simon. The big cats looked at one another. Yes, they all said together. And they spent the rest of the day pouncing and prowling, prancing and playing, like cats of all sizes do. The end. And that is, I am a cat by Galia Bernstein. Okay, friends, that's it for me tonight. And thank you so much for inviting me into your home. I hope you enjoyed being with me in my home. I'll see you in the library. Good night. Sleep well.